Two Pentagon police officers were shot Thursday evening after a gunman opened fire at the subway entrance to the Pentagon complex. When the officers fired back, they hit the gunman, who was critically injured. The law enforcement sources identified the suspect as 36-year-old John Patrick Bedell. They also say they're investigating whether a second person was somehow involved. According to the officers, that, and I've interviewed two or three of them now, they said he walked up very cool, like he had, there was no distress, uh, he had no real emotion in his face. Uh, it's very typical for someone to reach for their pass to show it. When he reached in his pocket, they assumed he was going to get a pass and he came out with a gun. The suspect is thought to be American. Investigators say he walked up to a security checkpoint at the Pentagon in an apparent attempt to get inside the Defense Department headquarters. Police say the suspect then opened fire with a handgun. Uh, the officers acted very quickly and decisively to neutralize him as a threat. There was no, no one else was injured. Uh, as you know, at that time of night, you have a lot of people coming and going, so we were fortunate that there was no other injuries. Inside the Pentagon, employees say they first heard of the shooting on television. They were later told the building was locked down and to stay in place. Well, I didn't hear any of the actual shots. Uh, the Pentagon told us to lock down. That's kind of a, a stay in place, stay inside. And then uh, we heard some announcements over uh, from the police uh, telling us that uh, certain exits were closed and directing us in, uh, in a safe way to exit the building. Police say this is the first incident of a person opening fire at the Pentagon's gates in its history. Sagar Magani, The Associated Press, Washington.